Hey Bishops, I'm your co-host, Caitlin Leggett. And I'm your co-host, Michelle Sakianza, and we are back with your BGA News. In our Battling Bishops news, congrats to the men's tennis team on winning the USA South Championships. Go Bishops! Congrats to all of our spring sports as well on celebrating their senior nights. Thank you for all you've done. With the end of the year coming up, be sure to ace your exams, turn in your work, and finish out the year strong. Check your emails frequently for moving out and end of year information. Congrats to all the seniors who are graduating. In today's news, North Carolina Wesleyan College is now North Carolina Wesleyan University. This was announced on April 22, 2022. North Carolina Wesleyan University has been expanding its scope, adding two master's programs, which is a key aspect of this new classification. It was said by Dr. Dan Crocker, the evolution of NC Wesleyan from a college to a university represents the culmination of the excellent work of many dedicated people over previous years and the commitment of the current administration, faculty, staff, and board of trustees in expanding the institutional offerings to its students for research, as well as career development. The impact of this effort on the students and the area will be tremendous. This is a huge step in our future. Now to AJ for her Let's Talk About It segment. Thanks, Michelle, and congratulations to you two for making it all the way to the end. It's a bittersweet moment because it is my last Let's Talk About It segment. I am your co-host, AJ Upchurch, but I will give it away to none other than Amaya Dickens. Who knows? She might have a co-host of her own. Well, bishops, come along with me as we take this last journey, this last lap as a bishop together. Let's go. Oh, All wow. right. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you feeling? Graduation's coming up in three to four days. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it sure is. Hey, how, how am I feeling? Sorry. I, um, I don't know. Um, this is definitely going to be uh, different for me like not doing anything, not being in school, not having people to um, <laughs> blame in a sense. And what, what I mean by that is, is just by, you know, saying like, oh, I hate this professor. Like, oh, I hate this. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that because then it just, but, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, like having, having that, like having any kind of stressor, like I feel like it's going to be so different. Um, just, you know, not being a student. Yeah, any plans for the summer? So as of right now, I'm going to be working with children uh, at a camp, at a summer camp, just being good old AJ. And um, then I'm, go kids. What? Yeah. <laughs> kids, kids, kids aren't that bad. They're not, they're not that bad. They, 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 they definitely have their points when you're like, go sit down, like you cannot deal with them. But then, you know, then then when you tell them to go sit down, they take like a pen and a paper and they notice that they've made you upset and they like write you either like a little like letter or they'll like draw you something to show you that they, 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 they do care about you. So they have, they, they, have, they have the ups and downs, but um, I will be working with kids and then hopefully I'll get them um, apply for my master's in creative writing, get that, get that done and said for, and then um, work with kids again, like throughout the year, probably in like, after school programs and stuff mm. to really help them out with uh, stuff like that and I might ask around and see if I can help start like after like not start an after school program but start doing certain things in the after school program so that kids can feel more engaged than just like oh I'm done with school so now let's just you know be mean and <laughs> do nothing and like not you know whatever because they don't they don't have like homework time where are you uh, they, they, don't, they don't have homework time, so I want to like make sure that they get their homework done. And when they go back home, you know, their parents are like, "It's ten o'clock at night. Why are you giving me this? What they, what they, they got homework over the summer? Poor babies. Yeah, some of them do. And track out because they do track out. Track out year round. Year round. Poor children. But um, if you 
could do this all over again, undergrad fame, <sighs> would you do it? And would you change anything about your time here at Wesley? Um, would I do it? Like, would, if you could change, if you could go back and like relive your undergrad experience, would mm -hmm. you? And if there was something that you could change about it, would you? Like, what would it be? Would I relive my undergrad experience? Of course, because I feel like everyone goes through what they need to in in their life, right? So, like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that there's a reason to like go through and change major things, like like where where you are in life, like so. Um, you know, if I went back and I changed me not even going to college or me going to community college, like I feel, I feel like in either at either way, I should have gotten like extra um, education, um, like like being here, like in, in in some kind of undergrad, whether it be community college or it be here or it be you know like ECU, NC State, Duke, wherever. Like I feel as if having that next step in uh, education, that's definitely what I needed um, in life. So I don't think that I would have like sway from like not doing it because I learned a lot yes it was tough but I learned a lot um and anything that I would change is just like past relationships I would have just dedicated myself to making myself better and actually actually figuring out who I was and finding out who I was rather than trying to um get caught up in the fact that you know somebody liked my face it's, a little, it's a little shady over here no. <laughs> I don't mean it in a bad way or anything like that. I, I just I just really really wish that I had I, I had time to work on myself so because yeah, I, yeah because I mean I, I feel I feel like being at college this is a big self improvement like that's that's pretty much all it is. You learn who you are. You learn how to improve yourself. You learn how to improve your skills and every and and, 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 and any other um, natural talent that comes with you. And I feel like I didn't have that. Um, I, I didn't I didn't have that. Uh, um, you know, time to for my, yeah, yeah, for, yeah, for myself. So that's the only thing I'll probably change. Mm. Last question. Mm. They might not all make it. How proud are you that you chose Wesleyan, that you are a bishop? Well, a bishop alumni now. Uh. <laughs> How has choosing Wesleyan affected your life? How has it been one of the greatest, I'm assuming, hopefully, it was the greatest experience that you chose here? My, 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 my freshman and my senior year were definitely my greatest years um, here. Coming, coming in is always a great year because you learn a lot about yourself. Leaving is always a great year because you are you now have to kind of like put that to the test and it's something that it's, it's just like a transitional period both of them i really love transitional periods so um i think that i'm proud of myself in overcoming a lot of strife within those transitional periods because i was able to figure out who i was and what i wanted to be um in in due time of course i you know of course i, I did just say that i didn't have that time but that but that wasn't completely true i just um <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 no, that wasn't, that wasn't com com yeah. completely true because in the saying. beginning and in the end, I definitely had the time to figure out who I was and learn a lot about myself, which was really great. And that's most of the reason why I'm, you know, I'm so proud of myself for getting in five projects with five days left. Uh, <laughs> that, that, was a, that, was a, that was a big one. Uh, I, I, was def I was definitely running on that procrastination high. Um, <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah, but um, but yeah. So that was that was probably what I'm most proud about. Just like actually getting my work in on time and learning a lot about myself and um, being a bishop and you know it's That's deep. Yeah. What is a bishop? What is a bishop? What's a bishop? Uh, I you just said. I just said. <laughs> Are you asking me the actual definition? No. Oh, what being a bishop mean to you? Being a bishop means to me. Um, being a bishop means to be everywhere and nowhere at the same time. <laughs> That's funny. Um, to always be there for everyone, meaning being there, but then being nowhere, meaning that you you have you have that time to also improve individually on yourself. So being being a bishop, uh, you know, being there, 
being a family person, you know, but being nowhere, being 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 in your study and like working on, you know, like some work that you have or whatever, like that to 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 me is being a bishop, being able to balance all of that and still um, come out with with an open heart. Um, full or my coach, sorry, my coach, my coach always said this thing where he was, he was like, you know, um, mm, mm. bright eyes, full hearts can't lose. Hmm. So, you know, as long as long as you go in with every situation at at it being at its peak in the end, I think that is what a true what 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 a, what a true bishop is. You know, we're not. We, we not stopping. No yeah, we, we not stopping. We ain't no. We're not gonna say that. What? Pop. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? I mean, you you can you can beat you can you can beat that up. Yeah, it's just. Uh, and I'm like, you're like, oh oh. Yeah. I just said we're not quitters. Yeah, yeah, but in the most but in the most interesting way possible. Oh, look at him looking at us. Yes, Gregor. Damn. Uh, sorry <laughs> but yes that that is that is what being a bishop truly means to me never never quitting always seeing it through and always having an open heart in the end of the day we love that we that's love all that. that's all you're gonna get from me all right okay thank you aj and that is all, Bishop, for our Let's Talk About a segment. It has been a pleasure working with you, Caitlin, Michelle, and AJ. You all will do awesome in whatever it is that you do. BGA will miss you dearly. And back to you, Caitlin. Thank you, Amaya. And congratulations to you, AJ, on graduating. Michelle, it's been a pleasure working alongside you here at the BGA News. Thank you, Caitlin. I've enjoyed working with you, too. Congratulations on graduating. Thank you, you too. It's the end of an era here at BGA. Thank you for tuning in with us. I'm your co-host, Caitlin Leggett. And I'm your co-host, Michelle Sakiasa. And we're out.